Tonight, a renewed push to find the killers of four separate and unsolved gruesome murders on Long Island. Authorities in Nassau County now raising the rewards for information leading to arrests. Three of the victims were shot. One was strangled. And tonight, families of the victims talking to Iowa News reporter Johnny Fernandez. He's live in the village of Mineola. Johnny. Hey, Bill. Well, police say that in all these cases, Police believe people saw something and they are hoping that witnesses come forward because they want closure not only in this case and in these cases, but also help families with closures. It's been two years since the death of Carson Banks, his family visibly heartbroken as they talked about the 31 year old's death. Guns don't do nothing but kill everybody. And that's what you're doing. You're killing your kids every day. Back in 2020, police say Banks was visiting Long Island when he was shot and killed while sitting in a car. The case remains unsolved, but police are close to making an arrest. We did identify Ramel Ferguson early on in the investigation, and we are with the district attorney's office at the point where we're ready to arrest and proceed with a prosecution of, of Ramel Ferguson. Nassau County police say Banks' case is just one of four cases that remain unsolved and want to bring more attention to it. I don't like calling them cold cases because they never get cold in Nassau County. The time and effort is put to make sure that we are giving closure to our victims. The cases include the death of 23-year-old Talik Smith and 28-year-old Taisha Williams. Both were shot in a car in separate months back in 2020. And the strangulation of Susan Goldfarb. Police say she knew her killer, but they still need help finding him. We just indicted a man for a 50-year-old homicide. We will never give up. We will not rest until we have people arrested and prosecuted for these crimes. Now, police and crime stoppers, they have increased the reward in all these cases up to $25,000. And police, once again, getting the message out that if you make a phone call regarding these cases, all calls are confidential.